a sour turn because the dead sad boys have turned up I agree you want to talk about bringing just shame and dishonor to everything that's good in WrestleForce they're an affront to sportsmanship an affront to WrestleForce and I'll be shocked if we see if we see some just clean wrestling from Jay Joshua today. You know, a man who could win on his own but chooses to go the dirty route. Again, like Lee Bamber announced him, you know, he's got loads of mixed martial arts experience. We're going to see some... Actually, again, what are we talking about? What are we talking about here? What is this? Just, It's just disrespectful to me. There's no comedy in this. I do not, I do not think they have achieved comedy. And... Uh, that's it. They just they just don't take things seriously enough. They don't go by the books in terms of being a, a good professional wrestlers. Because if, if they did just go I try and be fair square. Commence wrestling. But this should be a, a still, I really think this should be a great contest. But I have to just keep my eye out on what Billy Hayes is doing. And, uh, matches like this where I feel most sorry for referee Martin Reynolds and he just has his hands full you, you literally need eyes in the back of your head it was bad enough when there was just two of them and now now that they've recruited Mark True into the fold it really it's just gotten exponentially worse I mean I think the last time we were commentating last time I was commentating in Ipswich I remember just talking about who is it that's gonna join the dead the dead uh, bad dad bod sad boys club and of course it was going to be Mark True. I didn't see it coming, but now with hindsight, I should have seen it coming. We all should have seen it coming. And now we're just going to have just... 
I believe if there's someone that can get it done, maybe there's someone get it done regardless of people who's on the ringside apron, it would be Karim Brigante, but that remains to be seen. Karim, of course, a former WrestleForce champion, one of the most dominant WrestleForce champions we've ever had. And a mainstay of the European circuit, not just in his home country of Italy, but all around the globe. As mentioned by Lee Bamber earlier, trained under Harley Race, wrestled on shows promoted by Harley Race, has wrestled in front of Harley Race. You know, and that, that's got to be just an, inval an invaluable tree of knowledge to sit under. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The amount of... There's a lot of moves that Harley Race has innovated, uh, let alone the, the knowledge and experience that he has that's just unmatched. And you, you, anybody who has been underneath the learning tree of Harley Race, you will hear nothing but positive things. And, and they are probably some of the best wrestlers going today or have been going in, in history. So, yeah, of course, that alone will, should tell you what to expect from a former champion like Karim Brigante. Out the ring they go, but still, Cora and Elbow, still together. Karim Brigante is smiling. Karim Brigante is laughing. Oh, you know he got that dog in him. Karim Brigante laying out Jay Joshua with, with a vicious forearm. That is one of his specialties. Like that's one thing you need to avoid. Again, I me mean, being a person who's been in the ring of Karim Brigante a few times, he's got some sharp elbows. It's usually the elbow that he gets. A lot of people get a forearm in there. But, oh my God! I was going to say, Jay Joshua actually I think he's the other person that makes sure he tries to get a nice sharp elbow along the jaw of the opponent. So this, this is something that I didn't even think about until I'm seeing it in front of me. This is going to be. Uh, Ugly, but an enjoyable scratch. Oh. Someone file a missing persons report for Jay Joshua's jaw. Karim Brigante almost knocked his block off. Yeah. Speaking of Portugal, Billy Hayes obviously as well had a lot of st uh, uh, start his career. He did a lot of training in Portugal as well. So maybe, uh, maybe he could be a guy to find that jaw of Jay Joshua. And look at it, he's done, he wants that. It's almost like they want to time out. They're here on the outside of the ring. Ah, oh, well, look at that, look at that. Breaking the gentleman's agreement. A chop, but I mean, I guess anything on the outside rules do seem to go a little bit loose when you're on the outside anyway. And again, Karim Brigante essentially finds himself wrestling a three on one handicap match. However, he appears to be faring quite well. Very high ring IQ from Karim Brigante, and there's another loud, sharp kick. Come on! And this wonderful crowd here in Wickford firmly behind Karim Brigante. Jay Joshua, I think he's had enough. He, he, he's trying to head back to the locker room. Yeah, but that door's not opening. That door's not opening. Back to that, that international flavor. It's no escape. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Jay Joshua moved out of the way just in the nick of time. And poor Karim's hand meets the steel. The hardest part of the ring, some would say. 
He'd be lucky if he hasn't broken at least one of his fingers. My gosh. Don't know why Mark Chu's clapping. Clapping like a seal. And I'm not sure if the camera's caught it, but Jay Joshua did enter and exit the ring again to break the count. Great, great filming. Here we are. I know, I know, I know. I, know. I, feel like, I feel like our parking space is getting invaded, but the cameras aren't picking it up, so. I wonder how wonderful for us to be joined, uh, to be joined at commentary momentarily by uh, Mark True. Mark, how does it feel to besmirch the good name of WrestleForce and join the Dead Sad Boys instead of, you know, doing something worthy of your life? Oh, I feel great, mate. Look at us. Karim, former international champion, and he's getting run about by my best friend, Jay Joshua. How do you feel about being a retired wrestler? How do you feel? Huh? Now shut your mouth and do your job. All right, well, I'm going to try to bring, bring things back to the action. You know, we're supposed to be focused on the action. And Karim, he's just bounced off the bottom rope, and boom! Big elbow! My God, I feel like... 80% of this match has been on the outside of the ring. This has been a brawl. And somehow, KB Violence is the man in control. I, mean, I really wish Mark II was not here at that period of time. I'm starting to pick up their bad habits. Their, their, their mean words, their bad odor, all of it. And once again, they enter the ring, only to exit it again, just to break the count, just to reset the count. And as you were saying, I think over 90% of this match has been fought outside, and now something, it looks like something very dangerous is about to happen. No, 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 no. That is a solid wood floor. That is not where you want to be. And now Jay Joshua just clubbing the back of Karim Brigante. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Good God! Oh, we felt it. Good God! The room shook! And now Billy Hayes and Mark True looking on in horror. Martin Ramerson has shown some incredible leniency here. This is one of the wildest matches I've seen in WrestleForce in quite some time. It, it's barely resembled a wrestling match. As you said, it's more of a barroom brawl. It's more of a good old-fashioned Donnybrook. Exactly. This is, I think they call this in Rome the, the KB Violence Invitational. The way they've just, again, the, he's trying to get things back in the ring, is, is Karim. But just like that... What is what? Where did he get? Has he been wearing that the whole time? Has Billy been this? No, I, th I think he did an outfit change. In the blink of an eye, he's found a referee shirt. He already had it on him. He had it, he planted it somewhere. What? The, it's this kind of tomfoolery that I can't stand. It's it's why I despise the dead sad boys. I despise them. They're so dead. They're so. They're, I've heard some people call them the dead soy boys. Not me. But, the, but but I get it now. Oh, these clubs to the back. And I think finally, finally. What do you mean, ref? Jade, what is it? What are they? What do they mean? He's not. You're not a ref. That's not how you count. No shoulders are on the mat. You're uneducated. You're uneducated to think that that's how you count a pin. You can't just pour on a t-shirt that's black and white and just start counting. You're a fool, Billy. I don't believe the camera is picking it up, but my head is firmly in my hands here. I'm just, this, this is not the WrestleForce I fell in love with. The Dead Sad Boys have just, have just ruined so many good things. This is not what she would have wanted. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause, Jay Joshua, because no one else will. Oh, boy. Michael Oku is speechless at ringside. He is wincing. Because if anyone knows what those kicks feel like, it's Michael Oku. But Karim Brigante showing incredible resilience, incredible colliones. As, oh, no, just a boot wash to the face. Just as he was building some momentum and getting himself back up, those dirty tactics again of Jay Joshua. Again, who was a perfectly lovely boy, great wrestler, and then the Dead Sad Boys come along and just ruin it all. Read the Bible, everything. Holy Communion, 
did everything. And now look at him. Now look at him. But this, again, like, I was surprised. Like, Karim was trying to fight through the pain with those, I call them spinal taps. But this, is, this, isn't, this isn't what we want to see. Man, those elbows again. There we go. My God. I don't know if this is the best idea. This trade-off here from Jay Joshua. He's like, it's almost like he's challenging him. I'm not, I couldn't be sure. This is the best thing. Oh no. Here's those mixed martial arts strikes, fast strikes. He is down. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. And maybe that was the right thing to do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Karim, Forza, Forza, Karim, come on! Oh, hang on, Jay Joshua stops Karim Brigante in his tracks. What's he looking for here? Applies the front face lock. Karim slips behind, pushes him off the ropes, ducks under, and a huge spear takes him down. Come on! Uno, due, trono! Just before Tre, he kicks out. Shades of Tomohiro Ishii, one, two. Oh. At Due Bondonave, he kicks out, my God. He also kicked out at two. That was, whoa. This has been a, a war. I'm just thinking about everything they've taken on the outside, on the inside, the strikes to the jaw, the back, the chest. And now Jay Joshua. He, he was looking for the gotch style pile driver, but Karim Brigante has shifted his body position. Jay Joshua raining down the elbows to the head, but look at the strength. He's got him up. He's got him up. He's got him up. No, 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 he didn't, didn't work. Oh, he's got him back up. He's, back up. he's got him up again. He's got him. You can jump in. Yes. Spicoli driver. Okay, yeah. Fair. The elbow pad comes off. Karim Brigante means business. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna pop him up. It's gonna pop him up. But no, no. What is this holding? Oh, look at that. You've done it now. You've gonna make a big mistake. Into J. Joshua Billy Hayes goes. That's what you get. Out the ring. You need to get rid of that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mark two of the. He just shot blocked him. No, oh my gosh, a knockout kick. Oh, I'm not like this. No, no, no. You no, no. should have seen. No. This is just embarrassing at this point. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your referee's decision the winner of this. I wish we had a camera on the crowd so you can see the number of children that just jammed their fingers into their ears. One is actually crying. This is what happens when the dead sad boys take over. I think I'm crying. I've nearly been, been brought to tears, not just by the words of these dead sad boys, uh, but their antics. I'll but the... oh. So, if I can't take a seat, I'll do your job.